6.07 a.m. Time to hit the road. I'm hitting the road. I have my road trip essentials. It's an eight hour drive. Clorox wipes, TP, hand sanitizer, both spots, plus my speaker because I drive a 2005 car and I don't have, you know, plug in or Bluetooth to my phone. So I'll be listening to music for eight hours and podcasts on the speaker. I'll explain why I'm hitting the road right now. Um, definitely was a change of plans for the holidays and for the next four days. So let's go. Continue on I-75 South for five miles. So Alexandra just called me because she is working this Saturday and she realized I was on the road and it's just before seven, so the sun hasn't risen for her either. Um, but she chatted, so already had one distraction in. I'm on my way to a Starbucks, it's about 15 minutes away from here. And then I will get some Chick-fil-A. I have been so scammed, oh my God. I've been so scammed, Google told me that there was a Dunkin'. I literally passed an exit um, that said Starbucks and had a Chick-fil-A and I didn't go to it because I already had Dunkin' in. It was nothing. This is it, Dunkin'. Do you see it? No. And so now I don't know when I'm gonna get coffee. There's no Chick-fil-A here. <laughs> Rough morning start. So I've now been driving for over an hour. I have about 30 minutes until the Chick-fil-A. I just put in Chick-fil-A. I'm sure there's gonna be a coffee place around it. And I'm hungry, but the sun is coming up. So it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be fine. You know, this is just part of solo road trip travels is that, you know, navigating is challenging because you're already on the road, so you have to go with it. And I should have just trusted the sign on the side of the road for the exit. But you know what it is what it is it is the weather continues to drop on my way it is now 28 degrees outside there is frost on the ground who knew that southwest georgia would be this cold i think i'm still in georgia i have no idea oh i'm in georgia so yeah um really looking forward to this chick-fil-a at this point and some coffee because it is 7 16 and I haven't had any yet, and I only slept for six hours, so I like my full eight to nine hours of sleep. Okay, so random solo road trip thought. I just crossed into Alabama, and the time is changing. I'm keeping my Eastern time, but I was thinking about people who live you know, in what, in both time zones, basically. Like what, what do you do if you like live and work in different time zones? I'm assuming that you just set your time zone to wherever your work is. But um, anyways, whoa, the river is steaming. Holy cow, that was really cool. Oh, I'm in Alabama. Um, but I, I think, you would probably pick wherever your work is, which kind of sucks. But welcome to Sweet Home Alabama, where I'm gonna get my chick fil and my coffee. Yeah.
love when your glasses fog up. <sighs> All right, gas, time for Chick-fil-A. Let's go. Let me explain what's going on. I am currently driving to see my friend Grace. It is the weekend before Christmas and you know, coronavirus has really changed a lot of people's lives and sure, and it's definitely impacted, you know, everyone's plans um, for what they had for the year. Shit, shit, shit. <sighs> Hi there, can I have a number one, please? Just the um, entree. Actually, no, I'll make it a meal. Actually, right, so number one, what's a drink? Um, I'll just have a water, please. Thank you. Last time when I was at Chick-fil-A with Alexandra, we found out how caloric the whole meal is with the OJ. So we're not getting the OJ now. This is a really fast Chick-fil-A. Good thing I'm here at six in the morning. Well, really seven for me, so I shouldn't complain. Hi. You got a Chick-fil-A biscuit hash brown in a small water? Yes. All right, this will be poorly. Oh, thank you. Is that okay? Thank you. Is there ketchup in here? Um, I can grab you. That would be fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Have a you too. Okay, well, let me get to the next spot. It's time to go. God, I really need a better car setup. But it, this trip wasn't planned, so I did not prepare. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh, I'm in line for Starbucks. I got my Chick-fil-A. We're in a better shape than we were an hour ago or even 30 minutes ago when I already tried to get coffee and Chick-fil-A. And I had a change of plans and now I'm doing a solo road trip to Baton Rouge from Atlanta, you know, because of COVID. Um, and you know, things could be a lot worse. So I'm, you know, just gonna complain for a second. And I know that things are really great for me. So like, it's still gonna be fine. But the reason I have a massive suitcase in my car for going to see my friend Grace until the 23rd, which is literally for four days, three and a half days even, is because I was at the airport yesterday um, because I was supposed to be flying to her and then flying from, sorry. And then be flying from her, with her to LA because we live both in LA or we grew up in LA. But um, right when I got to the airport, mom called and you know, family just stressed out about COVID and it's really bad in California, really bad in Los Angeles, totally understandable, but definitely very last minute. Um, so now I'm driving to Baton Rouge and I won't be going to California at all, which is totally fine. Totally makes sense. I think it was the right call. Um, but I figured I still wanted to do something since I'll be alone for the next, you know, week and a half afterwards. Um, although a few friends are still in Atlanta, so hopefully we can do some things social distant with them, um, you know, after Christmas. This is ridiculous. I got it. Whew, just peed at a rest station and it is, um, what time is it? It is 9.30, so been on the road for three and a half hours. I have about three and a half hour, four hours left. Um, 
I was getting tired, but then I played WAP and was just rapping to it. So I'm gonna do it again and try to stay awake and then I'll probably switch it up to podcast. So I don't think I finished telling the story about why I have so much clothing, but I ended up packing for two weeks because I thought I was going to California. And when I didn't end up going on the plane yesterday, I didn't think it was worth unpacking. So I just threw it all in the trunk and I'm taking it all with me to go for a few days. One thing I forgot to mention about the Dunkin' Donuts fiasco earlier is that I love Google Maps and I like always shout out at people who use Apple Maps and call them out on it, all my friends. I've converted people to Google Maps and Google Maps like really let me down today. And honestly, it could be some idiot or asshole who put in this like fake Dunkin' into the maps. And it also is probably because like I'm driving and I really can't like investigate when I'm selecting places. But Google Maps really let me down today and it's really upsetting because I'm like the biggest proponent for Google Maps and everybody knows it. So Google Maps, you gotta you gotta make it up for me the rest of this week. Getting tired, so I have to sing really loudly to Panic at the Disco and any other song that comes up on my playlist. I have three hours left, about to get to Mobile, and I am just looking forward to being done driving at this point. Peace up. I really have to pee, so I'm gonna have to sign off now. Um, it was a really long drive, but I listened to Even the Rich and learned about the Gettys and this pretty fucked up family. But um, really interesting because I love the Getty Museum. Okay, anyways, I gotta go pee. See you later. Hey, what was it? No bees. No bees. So it's like a corn.